Well, where do I begin? All right, so I went to the doctor, the specialist, the same doctor who saw my daughter for her knee, um, to discuss the MRI results. And I was worried, like I said earlier, that they were gonna say it's just arthritis. There's nothing that they can do. Sorry, I'm not comfortable in this chair. I'm not comfortable, period, but anyways. So, um, sorry, I'm just hurting really bad. Um, okay, so it's bad news, I guess. It's not good news. It's not, it's, it is arthritis, but, um, I also have, uh, why was I thinking he gave me a list of what was wrong, but he didn't. This is um, physical therapy referral, so, I, um, I can't even think, hold on, um, okay, so, I guess there's a tendon that goes, uh, from, in your bicep tendon, tendon, tendinopathy, the, my right bicep tendon, whatever the heck, Anyways, it comes up and into the shoulder and then right there on the rotator cuff, I guess, somewhere. I don't know. You try to describe it like um, like if you're a mountain climber or whatever and you got a rope. And like if your rope is on the side of a rock and it just keeps going back and forth like that, eventually the rope is fraying and it's getting thinner and thinner until it's going to snap or something like that. So this tendon is coming up and it's... Uh, rubbed or whatever like damaged like it's almost torn off i guess which would explain why it's hurting all the way down into my arm like all the way down all the way down this whole arm is hurting so bad not just my shoulder like why is it hurting way down here that would explain it is this tendon thing is messed up as well as uh incomplete tear of my rotator cuff so it's torn but not completely off I guess and it, he has it listed down as a non-traumatic incomplete tear so I'm assuming because I wasn't in an accident and I didn't like you know fall I guess and tear it I don't know I mean maybe I tore it when I fell when I was this summer and it just gradually kept hurting more and more I don't know so who knows but to say it's non-traumatic it literally says right here where's the word anyways oh right there non-traumatic I'm sorry it's, it feels pretty traumatic to me but whatever so um I am going to need surgery to repair the tendon and remove it and reattach it so it's not rubbing, I guess. Which sounds like, how do you, like, I don't, miracles of technology. I don't know how they reattach stuff, but, uh. Anyways, and then fix the torn rotator cuff, whatever, however they do all that, so. I know he said they're gonna put a, they'll do a scope, so I'm assuming just a couple small incisions. However, they cannot do the surgery right now because hold on. Um, I can't move my shoulder. I mean, I can't. I I have very limited motion at all. And so he said, it's what they call it a froze shoulder, which I'm like have ice on it, which has nothing to do with it. I'm trying to numb the pain, but so I have to go to physical therapy two to three times a week for six weeks. And I'm supposed to see him in a month, so I guess in four weeks I'll determine, um, I guess, if it's better enough that we can do surgery. Because he said if he does the surgery right now, it's not going to do any good because it'll still hurt and I won't be able to move my arm. So he has to get me some motion. 
See, just going like that, trying to lift it. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. And so, I'm excited to go to the physical therapy and have them move my arm because it's going to hurt like crazy, but I guess I have to get motion in it before they can do the surgery. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what we're looking at. Definitely going to need surgery. Um, and I'll probably need more physical therapy after the surgery as well. So I'll probably be having the surgery in about a month and a half, maybe beginning of April. So somewhere in there, I don't know. Um, maybe the end of March. But, um, I go back and see him on March 17th, so we'll see what he says then. Um, I know when I was walking out, um, Mitch went with me because I can't even, I can't, like, even, like, grab the seatbelt and, like, click it. I can't put, I can't do it, and I can't put the car in drive. I'm struggling. Cody and him are turning the key on and off. I can drive. I got this hand, but I can't do everything with it. I mean, this arm is getting so sore from overusing it to compensate for my right. <laughs> I'm just a mess. But anyways, I'm glad that we've got some answers, and definitely it's not just arthritis. I'm just concerned about the cost because I have no idea what the surgery is going to cost. I do know every time I see the doctor, it costs me $40, which maybe doesn't seem like a lot, but since I just saw him today, and then I saw him when I got that shot before, and I'm going to see him again in a month. Um, it's another $40. Plus whatever the surgery costs. I, can't, I don't even know. I, can't even, I don't want to guess. But I know that the physical therapy is $40 every visit. So if I'm going three times a week, that's $120 a week physical therapy I mean just thinking $120 a month I'm like I don't have an extra $120 I could pay it once a month you know $120 a week if I go for a month that's $500 right $480 I can do math which might as well be and then gas go in there Ooh, I hope we get his extra stimulus. <laughs> I hope they get that other, whatever that 1400 was. Need that. I don't know. I told Mitch I was worried about it. And he said, it doesn't matter. Worried or not, we have to do it because I can't be in pain. I got to get the shoulder fixed. This is ridiculous. I am too young to fill this tore up. I mean, I would hate even an older person to fill this tour up. I don't care what your age is. If you're 20, 30, 50, 70, 80, 100, this, I don't want to wish this on anybody. It's horrible. If you've had it, my aunt said she had it. Oh, the pain is so bad. I told the doctor, I go, that shot they gave me, I said, it's the worst pain I've ever felt. And I said, and I have had two children. So I know what pain is. That bad. So hopefully when they do the, the scope, they don't have to stick a needle there. Or they start maybe to knock me out before they do it. Just knock me out. And I don't even know. Just still put me to sleep. You know, just, there we go. Whew. Anyways, I appreciate all of you guys. Um, I appreciate all your prayers on my behalf. Just keep praying. Pray for an inexpensive surgery. Pray that I get a stimulus package like everybody else is needing money for bills and stuff. I'm going to need it for medical expenses. <sighs> yeah, so that's the update for today. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. You want to be there when I have the surgery. <laughs> no, see how I'm doing and check up on all my goals I'm achieving quite a few I don't know if you can see the hearts on the wall back there there's some over there and some more there there's tons in front of me that I can look at 
with all of our affirmations that we're all writing down. Oh, okay. Oh. Stop that. For, um, that was part of my February goals. And so far, so good. I mean, I did it for me, but I wanted them to write down as well. So, like, the pink one, I believe, is uh, my daughter, and the white one is my husband. So, yeah, there's a couple white ones over there, a pink one. There's some more pink ones over here. It's nice to look around the room and just see uh, positive things that we think about ourselves. So, <laughs> it's nice. It was, a, it was a really good idea, and I've decided I'm not going to take them down the end of February. I'm just going to leave them up till they fall off. <laughs> Because it's nice. It's nice to see all the, you know, positive things in this room. And I spend a lot of time in here. So that's, that's always a bonus. Alright, well, I'm going to go take a uh, pain medicine, put this ice back in the freezer so it can get cold again. I just right now got it just kind of hanging. It's, it's a knee wrap. I don't even have a shoulder. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one before I have surgery because I'm going to probably need it after, but... Yeah, it just wraps around your knee, and I just have it kind of hanging back on the back of my shoulder right there where it's hurting a lot. And, yeah, that's that's the update for today. Oh! Uh, also, February goal I also completed was I paid my tithing up two months in a row. It's like I'm on a roll. And it wasn't as hard this month. I just did it. I mean, I'm sitting here now like, how am I going to pay for all this um, physical therapy and doctor visits and, you know, but even if I hadn't paid the tithing, that's not enough to pay all this. So I just have to have faith and plea that it will work out. Everything will be okay. So, all right. I will see you soon with another update. Just remember... But I love you all, and I appreciate all your prayers on my behalf, and I will see you soon.